What's up everybody? My name is Lehua and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcast Cross Worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today we are reviewing some of Spiders So What. And if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you get notified on the next upload. And if you like to support the channel, we got channel membership and Patreon. Link to those are below. We are reviewing some of Spiders So What episode 23. If you saw my reaction, you saw I got really excited for this episode, especially for Sophia and Kyoya. They have been teasing us with Kyoya. Like in the beginning of the season when they had that meeting with all the demons and the commanders and such, Kyoya was there but he never talked but we saw him. It was like, who's that guy with the horns? The guy with the green hair and horns. And then later on, they would show him in scenes post credits. Like, you know, he's a prominent character because he had his own frame, right? Right? And then they were talking about Kyoya when they were talking about all the other Ryankinists. Where are they? And we saw Kusama. He was on the Demon Lord side. So it's like, raw. Kyoya has to be on the Demon Lord side. Die. He has to be because everybody else was accounted for, right? And he was! Oh my god! Yes! We get to see him and he's like a samurai! He's badass! He reminds me of those ogres from that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. But anyways, before Killer actually showed up, Shun was fighting Hugo and Shun was out of Hugo's league. He was wiping Hugo's butt. Like Hugo was losing hard and then he got defeated. Then Sophia jumped in and she was like, Hugo, you have served your purpose. Bye bye. And then she took over and she's fighting them and she is so powerful. I commented in my reaction that Sophia has to be more powerful because she must have gained some skills and experience over the years. And I'm saying that because 15 years ago in Sariella, a war, a battle happened. That's where Komoko is. That's where baby Sophia is. Something must have happened there. And then Sophia went through struggles ever since. That's what I'm thinking. And from that time when she was a baby till now, she was gaining experience, skills, titles, etc, etc. She is ready. While Shun, you know, he was in his palace, cruising, being a baby, having a childhood, just because he has the hero title, doesn't mean he's up to par with Sophia yet. In this scene of the episode, Sophia is fighting the whole whole hero party and she is kicking butt she is schooling all of them they are double teaming on her she's like meh meh you cannot touch me like oh my gosh she is definitely showing like she is showing an example of how powerful the demon army is i mean she's only one of them they are pretty much utilizing all of their skills and they still can't then Faye jumps in and you're thinking she's going to be like, okay, here's a big dragon person. I'm going to shoot her with that beam from my mouth. And then Faye's like, if we surrender, will you spare our lives? And it's like, whoa, Faye's not even going to fight her. That's how powerful she is, okay? And the pure party, they're like, what? Faye, how could you say that? And Faye's like, guys. We, we don't have this. She, she's gonna kill us. She's gonna beat us. We need to surrender. And Sophia's like, ah, oh, so you knew what the outcome would be if you fought me. Why didn't you stop your friends earlier? And Faye's like, well, you know how guys are. Their pride and such. And then Shun, his monologue in his head, he proves it. He proves that he does have pride and he's pretty determined he's stubborn he doesn't want to end this fight he doesn't want to lose and this is a feature that makes me favor the demon army more because the demons they seem to have a clear goal like they know their objective while shun and his party the hero party they seem kind of wishy-washy like they'll swing wherever they're needed like they think the world is black and white there's good and evil 
when in actuality, it's gray. All of it is gray. The humans have the objective. The elves have one. The demons have one. There's probably another party that have one. There's no good guys and bad guys, black and white. Everybody has their reasons for doing what they're doing. They have justification for their actions. There are some, like Hugo, they are just buttheads. But in overall, not everyone is in the wrong or the right. And Shane and his party, they have this thing where they're fighting for justice. They're fighting for the ones who are being wrong, the defenseless, the ones that need help when in actuality, everyone is out for themselves. Themselves. They're not, they don't really need his help. What I want from Shun, the hero party, is I want them to have their own objective. Why are you guys fighting? Why are you guys going to fight the demon lord? The only thing they are coming from is Filmos saying that the humans and the demons are being manipulated by administrators. The administrators are the bad guys. That's all they have, and it's it's not really their objective, their goal. It's Philomosis, it's the elves. So, come on, hero party. You guys gotta find your own direction. You gotta find your own meaning. Otherwise, you're gonna be flip-flopping all different factions wherever you want to go. I mean, if you want to float around, you can float around. <laughs> I'm just saying. And I think they're in this position because they lack knowledge. They don't really know what's going on. They're only going off from what Philomos is saying. When in actuality, there's like a huge picture. You know how Kumoko, she had the taboo. She had the premonition. She knows how the world is going. She knows about the administrator. She knows how the world is going to end. She knows the whole system thing. So does the demon lord, I'm assuming. She knows about the administrators because she knows administrator Gilly Gilly, right? And Potamus, he pretty much knows about the whole system too. I'm assuming he does because y'all, this episode just shows that there's some shady stuff with Potamus. Shady, shady, shady stuff. He has a computer room. Okay, the elves have a computer room. Where did this computer room come from? Where did you guys get this technology? What's powering this computer room? What are your monitors made out of? I'm like, I got questions, yo. And then they have these mechs. They have machines that look like tanks, tanks with legs or something like that. Where did that come from? Where did you get the blueprints from that? Do you have an administrator backing you, giving you all this information? I'm... <laughs> Bruh. Remember when I said that the hero party, they lack knowledge and such? I think Philomos doesn't have all the information either because she's going off that the administrators are the real evil. Those are the ones that they gotta go after because they're the ones manipulating everyone, causing discord, chaos and such. But I'm also thinking there must be an administrator backing Potamus, giving him all this technology and information and such. It's... I'm... I, there's a lot going on and all I want to do is see Kumoko evolve to her next form. <laughs> and from this episode, I'm thinking they're going to feature 15 years ago in the next episode, which I'm hoping we're going to see Kumoko's evolution. The reason why I'm thinking the next episode is going to be about 15 years ago is because this episode kind of hinted that stuff happened in the past. For example, Sophia and the aide that was with her, the guy who also had pointy ears, he didn't have pointy ears in the past. And then when Kyoya showed up, it seemed like something happened with him in the past because Filmos was talking about that the administrators manipulated something and the kingdom was affected by it and Yoya was a victim to that too so he should be sided with them instead of the demon army so it's like huh what happened what happened to Sophia and Kyoya Sophia pretty much something happened in Sarah Ella don't know but we're going to find out i know in my last review i'm like how 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 and i'm hoping next week next episode we're gonna find out 
And that's my review of Soma Spider. So what episode 23? What did you think about the episode we were talking about? What did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of the YouTube, there's a Discord. Discord link is available in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Grafina. People watch these videos, like to stop by the stream, have that one-on-one -on -one real time conversation. You guys are more than welcome. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I also host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we like to talk about. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We are available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel reviewing Soma Spider Silhouette episode 23. Hope you guys like this video, and I will see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.